get a number of questions about serial number and lot tracking uh, and how that works in Microsoft Dynamics Nav. So I thought we would take a look at the item tracking code setup and explain what some of these do. So let's take a look first at this lot all code which is set up in the sample data and we'll expand the tabs here for serial numbers and lot numbers and you'll see that they're pretty similar in terms of what's available. Now you'll notice from these tracking options that NAV gives you a tremendous amount of control in the setup as to what happens when you receive a lot item or sell a lot item. So for example this code is called lot all and you can see basically every transaction inbound and outbound including warehouse tracking or warehouse transfer requires a lot number. So in this case the lot would be tracked from the receipt of the purchase order all the way to the shipment of the item out of inventory. If we look at the description for example of warehouse tracking here by pressing F1 you'll see that this controls whether warehouse documents like picks and putaways also require serial numbers. <clears throat> Very typically we would want to know that an item is in a warehouse but we might not care what the serial number is when it's moved around between different locations within that particular warehouse. So that's what this checkbox controls. I'm going to move down through a couple of other setups to a serial number tracking SN sales and you'll notice that this has only two uh, checkboxes checked under the serial number. One that says sales tracking and on the inbound and one that says sales tracking on outbound. Now you might wonder what the difference is between inbound and outbound sales tracking. So again if I click the checkbox and press F1 you can see that this controls whether inbound sales documents will require a serial number. So for example an inbound sales document might be a credit memo. An outbound sales document would be a shipment or an invoice. So you can see I can pick up serial numbers at any point virtually in the process. A very minimal kind of serial number tracking might be just to track serial numbers on outbound sales so that we could receive into the warehouse, not track inventories during warehouse operations or even transfers, but when I sold the item the system would request the serial number. If you have any other questions about this, feel free to post them as uh, comments on this blog entry. Otherwise, thank you for watching. We hope you'll give Data Guidance Group a call if you need assistance with Microsoft Dynamics NAV. My direct number is 901-922-6555, and I'm Bob Palmer, the President of Data Guidance Group.